Hi, it's Rach. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing The Spirit Within Tarot by Stephen Bright. This is a lovely deck that I was sent to review by Shifa. It's one of the simplest tarot decks I've ever come across and it works wonderfully. So, as you can see, it arrives in a lovely purple and black box with a little ribbon that you can pull to open the magnetic close. And inside the box, you get an introduction about Stephen Bright himself, a little guidebook and the cards. Moving on to the guidebook, it is a 96 page length guidebook. It's very simple. It is colour printed. Um, it is really, really easy to understand. Each page has one page per card to explain both the majors and the minors. He offers readers keywords and a, a little phrase that will help you to understand the card more personally. And at the back of this guide, you are also given the uh, spirit cross spread. So you're also given an example of a spread that you can use. This book's really useful. I quite like it because it's straight to the point. OK, so the cards. The cards have a beautiful black back with like grey flowers on them and it has a wonderful purple wheel of people. And I love this because you wouldn't really know if they're men or women, it just doesn't matter. And that's the whole point of this deck. There are no specifics. Um, each card uses silhouettes. That silhouette could be any race, gender, age, it doesn't matter. It's up to the reader to use their intuition and I, I like that it doesn't have any stereotypes in this deck. So that's a beautiful box. Okay, so the Mage Arcana. We have the Fool. Very simple colours and a lovely silhouette there. The Magician. So again, a silhouette and this is with every card. You can see all four of the tools there. And this idea of the sun behind him. The High Priestess. The Empress. I really like this card because I see these two dogs as Alsatians. And as I grew up with Alsatians or German Shepherds as a child, it just, uh, it's, a, it's a lovely card. The Emperor. Hierophant. Beautiful colours again. The major arcana you'll see, although we've got the silhouettes in every card throughout the deck, you'll see differences in colour throughout the major arcana, whereas the minors have particular colour schemes. Here's the lovers. How beautiful is that? And the chariot. I like this idea of him being on a skateboard or her being on a skateboard moving in a stylish way. Strength. The Hermit. And the Wheel of Fortune. Now I for some reason see this as a lollipop. I know it's not a lollipop but every time I look at it I see a lollipop. And then the song comes into my head. Lollipop, lollipop. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Justice. The Hanged Man. It's quite sinister, this card. Death. Temperance. I love this one. It's a DJ. <laughs> I love the balance almost between the decks. I love that card. The Devil. And the tower, I really like this tower card. I just love the fiery colours in it. The star. You'll see these cards are quite shiny. And that can cause a bit of an issue with shuffling at times. It can be sticky, but still it's worth getting the deck because it's just such a wonderful deck. I love the moon, the wolves and the dogs howling at the moon. And the sun. 
and judgment. And finally, the world. How beautiful is that card? Okay, so moving on to the Minor Arcana. As I told you momentarily ago, each Minor Arcana suit has a particular colour scheme. So here are the wands, here's the Ace of Wands, and this colour scheme is obviously an orangey brown, like a terracotta, I guess. The Two of Wands, it's like a football goal. The Three of Wands, I love this with the boats in the water. And the Four of Wands, how beautiful is this? I do a celebration and ceremony. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. And the Seven of Wands. See, all the same colour scheme, all silhouettes, but really simple to depict the meaning in the image. Eight of Wands there. That fast movement. And the nine of wands are just keep going, keep going. You're almost there, card. Looks like he's flexing out, doesn't he? <laughs> and the ten of wands, perfectly depicted with that burden and that kind of heavy weight. Wonderful cards. The court cards continue in the same colour scheme as their suit. So page of wands here. And the knight of wands. And the Queen of Wands with a cat. And the King of Wands. So wands are in that kind of fiery, orangey kind of brown colour. Moving on to cups, which I'm sure you're already guessing what colour they'll have gone with. Being a watery kind of suit, we have blue. Ace of Cups. I love this card. Just the simplicity of it. It's beautiful. And I do love silhouettes, so these cards work for me. The Two of Cups. How lovely is that card? The Three of Cups. Kind of joining together the sisterhood. And the Four of Cups. I was wondering how this card would work because obviously in a lot of other decks you see the kind of dissatisfaction on a person's face but you can just see it in their gesture, in their, in their stance. I love this card. Five of Cups. See, there's still a full cup there. You can see everything in the card, even though there's just silhouettes. It works so well, this deck. And this is this is one of my favourite cards. This is a Six of Cups. I just see my little boy and little girl in that card. Seven of Cups, all them decisions. I like that it's kind of in a cloud, but a thought bubble. Eight of Cups. And I love that it's kind of like the moonlight, if you will, drawing her in. It could be the sunlight, but I see it as the moonlight. Nine of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. This is such a beautiful card. I'm trying to get it without the shine on it, but it's, they are really shiny. Okay, Page of Cups. You can see the fish there. And the Knight of Cups. See, I always associate this card with Paul, my husband. And it, <laughs> it's like his silhouette in a way. Queen of Cups. She's usually my card. And the King of Cups. Okay. So Swords, which are the next suit a kind of an airy suit so I kind of thought well they must be kind of a paler blue but no we've got this beautiful light green ace of swords the two of swords the three of swords I love this with the cross to show the heartbreak four of swords Five of Swords, 
not my favourite card, but hey ho. Six of Sauce, you've got the uh, moving away there on the boat. And the Seven of Swords. This is just such a lovely deck. And as you can see, so simple to read. Eight of Swords. And the Nine of Swords. I would definitely recommend getting this deck. It's so beautiful. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. It's so easy to understand that my daughter can look at these cards and she pretty much knows their meaning. Knight of Swords. The Queen of Swords. The professional lady. And the King of Swords. Okay, so with Pentacles being an earth-based suit and the Swords having used the green, and the cups having used the blue. I was kind of wondering, well, what on earth are the pentacles going to be in terms of colours? They're blue and green, so they are perfectly earth coloured. Here's the ace of pentacles. The two of pentacles, I love this, riding a unicycle, trying to stay balanced. There'd be no chance I could ever ride one of them. I'd be falling flat on my face. Three of Pentacles. I also love this card too. This teamwork, you know. Just really nicely done. Four of Pentacles. Hugging his money. Hugging his material possessions. Or her material possessions. This is what the beauty is about having silhouettes. Is you just, there is no gender. There's no race. It's just no age. No, no stereotypes. It's perfect. Five of Pentacles. Not the best card, but it's very nicely depicted. The Six of Pentacles. Isn't that lovely? And the Seven. Eight of Pentacles. And I like that all these stars are going up the wall. So it's like awards. It's like having worked hard, that achievement. And the sewing machine there. Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles, the contentment, the wealthy, happy kind of material happiness card. I do love it with the dog there, the, the man and his dog. That's close to my heart. Page of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. And I've just dropped the King of Pentacles, God bless him, so I'll just have to pick him up. Here he is, <laughs> the King of Pentacles. See, he was so slouched on his chair, he fell off my table. So overall, this deck is really, really simple to use. Really nice deck. I love the colours and I love how the silhouettes are used throughout the deck. The only thing I'll be honest I don't love is oh, when I'm shuffling because of how shiny they are the cards slip but also they, they somehow kind of chunk up a bit but otherwise this deck is perfect. It's a nice width, it's a good size deck to shuffle with for my hands so I, I do, I love the spirit within tarot and I would most definitely, definitely recommend it. It's not too highly priced either and it's easily available on the internet through Amazon or through Shiffer. Um, and if you read about Stephen Bright and uh, how he developed this deck, he actually has done other tarot decks before, um, I believe. And this one here... I think is possibly his most popular at the moment but this one here is kind of developed from this he wanted to get rid of stereotypes and he wanted to make a deck for everybody and he really truly has because this deck can be accessed by anyone because it's just so simple and easy to understand i refer to it as the ikea of tarot decks because if you buy something from ikea it's simple it's easy and it does its job 
And that's exactly what this tarot deck does. The Spirit Within tarot deck lives on my shelves now up there and gets used at least once or twice a week. My daughter loves this deck. She's only six and she understands it too. So not only would I recommend it, but she would too. So thank you to Shiffa for giving me the opportunity to review this deck. Um, and I will be holding on to it for many, many years because I love Stephen's work. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed watching.